Let's open up the Eastern Conference Finals. Here we go. Game one from Chicago. Maybe you've met LeBron James. James, D-Wade in the Heat, 0-3 against the Bulls in the regular season. Derrick Rose, the youngest MVP in NBA history. How do you stop him? One theory is slow down Derrick Rose, you beat the Bulls. Is that simple? Yeah, you have an idea how to do that? <laughs> He's MVP. Well, one way, maybe to stop him, some pregame jitters early on in the game. Rose would struggle, doubled off the screen, then picked off by LeBron James. Yeah, this kind of happens when you press a little bit too much. He's excited about having the Eastern Conference Finals back at home. He's a Chicago kid making some un un ill-advised plays right now, and he needs to settle down. LeBron taking advantage. There, Joel Anthony on the steal. Rose turned it over three times in the first five minutes of the game. And here's LeBron to Chris Bosh. Chris Bosch, a big beneficiary of LeBron and Dwayne on the floor because they create so much attention, he's able to get into the act. C.J. Watson in transition, feeds Taj Gibson. That doesn't happen to D-Wade do off. No, it does not. He got sucked in and got into a place where he just couldn't get out of the way, and I'm sure he's going to hear about this from a lot of folks in Chicago. Wade's a Chicago guy, too. This, this is flat-out embarrassing for him. Well, one thing that happens in this game, everybody goes through that at some point. You just hope it's not on a national level. Wait, you mean that happened to you too at some point? No, I don't know. Wade misses the runner. Joe Kim Noah grabs the rebound. Watch Wade sneaks behind Noah, steals it, and tips the pass to Bosch for the slam. Bosch had 17.7 rebounds. Big first half for him. Here in the third, LeBron to Bosch, one-handed slam over Carlos Puzer. Yeah, and he is making shots where when he got the ball, all he had to do was shoot or make the play, the easiest play. Rose the open three, Chicago excellent from three. Yes, they were. They were sucking the defense in. And when you suck the defense in, you have shooters spotted up. That's what you want from your offense. Noah filling the lane there. Bulls up nine after a 10-zip run. And then the Chicago defense took over, especially on LeBron and D-Wade. Big time block here. Joachim Noah playing one-on-one -on -one against Dwayne Wade. He gets to the middle, and he's still able to block his shot and leads to a fast-break situation. Luol Dang had himself a very nice game. Yes, he did. He applied the pressure on LeBron all night. He didn't allow LeBron to rest or relax at any moment of the game. LeBron putting it on the floor, then Gibson the block there. Yep, the long athletic bigs that the Chicago Bulls have is a key component to why their defense ranked number one in the NBA. LeBron and Wade held a 33. They're lucky to add Chris Bosh. Early in the fourth, Gibson finds Omira Sheik for the slam and the foul pulls up 11 then cj watson feeds ronnie brewer down low and, and here comes that chicago bench yep and this is from that coach thibodeau stressed make the easy pass don't get fancy just make the right play shot clock on two watson hits the bulls bench scored 28 in the game and they're loving it oh with four minutes to play bulls up 15. here's rose driving on mario chalmers high off the glass rose at 28. That was special because he saw the help coming over way before he took his shot. And that's the thing. He has great vision, and he understands when to put up his shot. How about that putback by Gibson? Exclamation point. Yes, it is. There's a great restaurant in Chicago <laughs> I heard from two valuable sports members here. And I'm sure he should get a filet mignon for that. And Boomer says Ditka's is pretty good, too. Rose loves it. The Bulls win 103-82. Chicago draws first blood in the NBA's Eastern Conference Final. Chicago on a 10-zip run midway through the third, then pulled away in the fourth. Game two Wednesday night back in Chicago. Luau Dang at 21 points, four threes, four steals, seven rebounds, and really put the clamps on LeBron James, holding the King to just 15 points. Dwayne Wade, as far as he's concerned, the Heat were outscored by 22, and Wade was on the floor. As for Derrick Rose, he did settle down after committing three early turnovers. He and the Bulls played some mighty fine D. Defensively, if you, if you don't have any communication, especially with the players that you're playing we're playing against like LeBron and D Wade it could be a tough night any night and we were just hustling um, they're a great team we made sure that we tried to get out to their shooters and tonight it just went our way we got 31 second chance points and that'll wear any team down um, you know you play defense you play defense hard and then 
you know, shot go up and they get off as a rebound and kick out for a three or get a layup or a dunk. Um, those are uh, demoralizing for a defensive team. So, uh, you know, we got to figure a way to clean that up. We need to get our to come in and do the, you know, do the small things, the little things, like offensive rebounding, you know, make sure when people come in the game, you know, you do our job of rebounding the ball and just, you know, doing what we normally do, making open shots, et cetera. So um, not, our bench don't need to be like theirs. It need to be like what Miami Heat do, and that's uh, we don't give up them a second chance point. So, you know, we got to come. Foster says he'll stay the same. The Heat looking for much more from LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. Chris Foster, his part in game one with 30 and 9. Miami needing some degree of production from its bench. In game one, the Bulls' front line dominated. The Heat troubles. How do the Bulls prevent an emotional letdown coming off the inspired play in game number one? Well, it, it all starts with effort and it starts with your best players. And see Bosch, the little pocket pass from Bibby. And did it at the defensive end against LeBron James, who was just 5 for 15 from the field. Wade just 7 of 17 the other day. Nice pass inside. Wade find Noah, and the crowd reacts to the defensive work of Joaquin Noah. Now they double up on Bosch. Inside it goes. What a fake. Dang went flying as Wade was saying we made a mistake in game one by not getting them active. Here's McClure with the stuff. Nice setup from Bosch. This is a team that, that signed all the big free agents, but they didn't have much money left to, to fill out their roster. And they're weak on that bench. Bosch move. They better make adjustments on the court. Our, our great face guarding can lead to testy moment. Oh, Wade getting the step on Bogan. Nice play from McClure there who kind of Hogged up the lane and allowed Wade that, that uh, penetration on the baseline. Meanwhile, the Bulls struggling at the foul at four of eight. Boozer looking for the angle, then it's back tap and a loose ball foul. This time it's against Chicago. Now look at the numbers now. Two for 16 shooting for the Bulls. Logan's is two for four. The rest of the team is 0 for 12. Meanwhile, here's Wade at the other end. You see McGlore clearing out of the left side of your screen. He takes Boozer out, and that allows Wade a free pass to the rim. So Noah on the foul. There's the alley oop. Bibby was right on target, but the Heat could not take advantage. Dang back the other way. How about the four-point swing there? You think he has energy and toughness and, and rebounding? And maybe if he's on his game, he can uh, do some work against the Chicago front line. Rose passed on a three. Nice setup. Boozer with the stop. The assist for Rose. Wade using the pick from Howard. Haslam with the rebound. Here's James with the stuff. LeBron James. Whoa. Of this first quarter with final seconds. The rejection by Gibson. Nice play. He's lost it. Recovered though by Haslam. Shot clock down at three. James for three. Yes. Oh, man. LeBron James. So both Mike Miller and Udonis Haslam getting the playing time here this evening. James going at Dang with some help. Nice move. So LeBron working his way back. Haslam with the pass for Bosch. Nice play. He lined up every time. As soon as one checks in, the other one is right behind them. They want to guard one another throughout this series. Oh, nicely done, Wade. Finals, Team 3 in Miami, Sunday night, Wade with a pretty move. He right. ended up getting a little right. lethargic, a little, little static. They, they, they've got to, to continue to play hard. I think man-to-man -man is their best effort. But Wade, Wade now has started. All right, thank you, Craig. Four and a half remaining. In this first half, Miami in possession. Is Vinny knocks out of the No, that's not going to happen. Miami has hit his last six shot attempts. Anthony rejected. Noah got a piece of it. Kept alive by Anthony. Here is Wade. Oh, oh what a move by Wade. Tuesday night here in this uh, arena. And it's a tip away in Miami for the first time. Final seconds of the half. Oh, James with a beautiful move. Pick and roll with LeBron James and Dwayne Reed. My two best offensive players. Bosch from James. Bibby for three. James finding Wade. Wade on the follow. James. Bosch. A lot of time.
touches here by the Heat, but they can't find the shot. Now Fox scores and scores. Miami for, forever, and they don't have a feel for each other yet. All right, here's Rose, rejected by Haslam. Nice pass, Haslam from Bibby, that counts, and the foul. Maybe that's the sequence yeah. that's going to get Haslam going, because a terrific block at one end. Defensively here on Dang. Shot clock to six. Oh, James with the steal. James, it counts in the foul. So Miami in the midst of a burst have taken a six to Brewer. And the rebound is handled by Bibby. Again, the heat in the open floor. Haslam with the stuff. You don't oh, oh. Haslam puts it down. For this game. Haslam. Showing some confidence. And that's what they miss. Is that. Here comes the double. Down to three. Haslam. Yes. You got us. Haslam with two full. And a 20. And he over the limit. Here's James for three. Yes. What call? James set the pick for Wade. Wade was picked up by Dang. Shot clock. Down to three. There's the pop fake, James, yes. oh, and he man. thought he was fouled. LeBron James with the three and the two, five consecutive. He would really put a full hold on this game. All right, here's James. James with the rebound and the pop fake. LeBron James, he's a proven shooter. You can't just quit on him now. Next foul will put the balls over the limit. Shot clock to three, two, James, yes. And that should do it. With 47 seconds remaining, Miami with an 84 point scored by LeBron James. Well, really in this fourth period, we know who was going to score for the big three. It's been LeBron James. You see the put back there and a couple dribbles left and just pulls up. And here's the suffocating. And we saw it second half by the Bulls on Sunday night in game one. We've seen it here tonight from Miami. And this is exactly where they wanted to be. You know, 1-1, one, one, even with the blowout in the opener, doesn't matter. It's 1-1. Uh, it's one, one. They don't it's the most watched playoff of the most hyped NBA season. All eyes are focused on the Heat and Bulls. They have absorbed this speculative public force all year, and the talk still has not subsided. The Bulls are winning that series. Next one game. Now you go to Miami. The questions have not been answered. What's going on with the Miami Heat? Can this Bulls team win this series? The attention and expectations have not waned. They grow with every contested shot, every electrifying play, every emotional swing. We're fixated, not because of the hype of Game 3, but the reality of it. The Eastern Conference Finals have moved to South Florida, downtown Miami, and the American Airlines Arena as the Chicago Bulls and Miami Heat ready to run in Game 3 in a series that's tied at a game apiece. There's the MVP, Derrick Rose, leading Chicago into Miami. Carlos Boozer hoping to rebound after some impressive games in the conference semis yet to get on track in the conference finals. Chris Bosh had a big game one, which Miami lost in the opener to the Chicago Bulls. And he is primed for game three. It's TNT NBA tip-off presented by autotrader.com nothing run in the fourth quarter of this game essentially put it away when it was 78 74 and they turned it into an 87 74 lead here are the highlights here from the triple a hey joel anthony had five blocks on the night yeah three in about the first four minutes really established there would be any layup for the chicago bulls they call him the warden joel <laughs> anthony and that leads to the lebron james dunk you, you know ernie the bulls do a really bad job of running you know, they're walking the ball up and down the court. You saw 
The only time they ran the ball was the last five minutes of the game. They got a bunch of layups and easy dunks. They Real. got the speed to tempo the game up. Real tough start for Carlos Boozer in this game. He was scoreless in the first quarter on 0 of 5 shooting, and LeBron went up and got him there. Yeah, I think overall he was aggressive, so he stayed aggressive, so yeah. he's able to hit some shots. But like I said, I think overall, no one on the Chicago team, not just Boozer, had an impactful point to kind of make runs or stop runs. And I think overall he played well, but it never set in, it never set into the game. Yeah, it came out a lot more aggressively in the second quarter, no hesitation. Yeah, just taking it to the rack, being aggressive, and that's what he's got to do. He's got to get the ball lower in the paint and be more aggressive. But this guy right here just kept making play after play after play. And as Kenny said, they were impactful points. Like Chicago would make a run and Bosch would make a big bat. Banks in the floater. He had 11 in the first half. Still a three-point game. Third quarter now. Rose hangs and knocks down the jumper. It's been a battle for him offensively. But he goes for 20. Chicago up a point. Keith Bogans, Dwayne Wade. We've got tension. Yes, we do. Important part of the game. Bogus a solid defender, D-Wade, trying to get his rhythm. And Bogan said, no, nah, I'm going to be right here all game long. <laughs> Still tied at 51 after Wade hit one of two free throws. Joaquin Noah to Carlos Boozer. Bigs working together. Good job by Noah getting the ball. You know that Rose need a little bit of help for that interior pass and great pass by Big Noah. Midway through the third quarter, the Heat get it going, including a couple threes by Mike Bibby. A 7-0 run, part of a larger 10-2 run. Bibby with that other three. Bosh. And then D-Way said, then my Wade. turn. Let me get some of this action. 17-9 for Wade tonight. 10 seconds left in the quarter. C.J. Watson to Luol Deng, who really kept Chicago from letting this thing get away from them in the final minute five. He had two big threes before the end of the third quarter. We go to the fourth. James knocks down the step back. Another shot clock beater for him. Rose changes direction and finds Ronnie Brewer. Excellent pass and super finish on the rim. Still within four, Bosch. And right here is what you talk about, Bosch being aggressive. Look where he jumped from outside of that dotted circle. So even if anybody was in that circle, you would have got a charge and a poster all for the special price of one by Bosch. Beating the chest on his way back. He's feeling it. James with a steal here. I'm just going to run got no Touchdown! <laughs> on the one-yard line. Oh, well, no, that wasn't a touchdown. He just ran him over, that's all. And, and Corbett got the foul on that. <laughs> Taj Gibson with a foul here. He had 11 points in 11 minutes. But Miami up by seven. A minute 30 left. Bosch to Udonis Haslam. Not the impact he had in game two. He had eight points off the bench tonight. And Miami up by nine at that point. They win it by 11. 96-85. Charlotte has not been happy with his shot in practice here at the arena last night near midnight to work on his shooting, getting only 42% over the first three games. 75-76 type games because of both defenses. Well, Rose able to knock down the outside shot. Has have an 8-4 lead here in the early going. Wade backs it in. Wade, Wade, going blind. This is a really see the opportunity to go against Chris Bosch. Mark, how friendly are they? Wait a second. Here is Rose all the way. Jerry <laughs> Rose putting the speed on. Who's it with the rebound? Those opened up by missing their first five shots, but they have come on. Boozer changed his mind. Has Brewer. He draws the foul. It counts. And Brewer will go to the line. A foul committed by LeBron James. Well, it's all of the shots tonight. They're not going to make 10 like they did in game one as LeBron James gets his first two for the night. Down, replaced by Mike Miller. Just hauled down that rebound. So if you want to be successful against Miami, especially in this building once they're undefeated, you're Boozer. Hey, you got to stop the talking because Bosch has really gone to town on them. But you got to make free throws. You can't leave points on the table. Noah defending on James. LeBron able to hit with two on the shot clock. On James with help. A sheet comes over. Shot clock down to four. LeBron twisting his way oh. for that shot. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're running through, there's nothing defensively. Mario Connors who just came in. 
And to me, where's the scoring going to come for the Chicago Bulls? Here throws and Boozer on the bench. Here is Chalmers for three. Mario Chalmers. Omar Ashik headed back to the locker room. Chalmers Boozer has come out. Chalmers with the steal. Here's Chalmers wrapped up by Porter. Crowd wants a flagrant foul. Absolutely not. That is a good playoff foul there by Kyle Corver. You tried to hold the man up. You may one thing Watson can do. He can stretch the floor on those lightning quick point guards. Put up some big numbers when he was with Golden State. Miller for three. In the NBA, but in the playoffs, it's been a totally different story. 30% against Chicago, 31% overall in the postseason. Chalmers with a nice move. Little spin by Chalmers. Miami up by two. Here's Watson. Watson putting a Derrick oh. Rose here. Well, the backup point guard for each for the Bulls, but it wasn't there that time. Miami leads by one. Wade only one for five here at the start. Being played by Dang. Wade on the spin, kicks it out, sets it up for Bosch. That was a spectacular pass there. You gotta give him the ball. I agree, but I, I think he's lost trust in his teammates. On Wade, got the step, able to put it through. Bosch playing with two. Rose making the turn. What a move. Chalmers hit the deck. And again, Heisman with the rebound. And the outlet for Wade. Very close to a palm as Wade flips it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Chicago, he is shooting just under 70% from the field in this series. Boozer with that jump hook from in close. Nice play there. This play by Culver. Now Rose on Wade. Nice pass. Haslam blocked by Noah. Here's Rose in the open floor. Rose splitting through. Oh, he kicked it. It's a chase down by LeBron James. Well, maybe he was just saving that block. He didn't want to go up against Derrick Rose earlier. But LeBron James with the emphatic block from behind on Derrick Rose. Going the double, and it paid off. Wade with the save. Haslam lost it. Nice play by Noah. Has Boozer ahead of the field. <laughs> How about Boozer? Nice hustle back defensively, Carlos. Come on. I think he's laughing about it right now. You guys are giving him a hard time. Three straight jumps. Second. Dahmers, Haslam, Dahmers over Culver. That is a three-pointer for Chavez, who had very little room to get that shot off. James, that's a two-point attack. Rebounded by Boozer. Got Culver on the wing. Here's Rose all the way. And the foul. Or a dunk if you want one, Derek. <laughs> Did you see how fast, as soon as Rose got the basketball, it's almost like he hit a jet. And then the explosion to the 44% from the field, 17 for 39. What a move by Rose. Oh! <laughs> yes, and it counts over Joel Anthony. <laughs> Once again, Marv Reggie getting very physical. I noticed. Downtown in Gleshen as his third quarter gets underway. The Heat back to their starting lineup with Vivi and Wade at the guards. Anthony James and Bosch on the front line. Here is James with a shot clock rolling down. A better offensive possession, even though it ended up with a tough jump. Chicago, 10 apiece for Dang and Rose. Vivi's pass picked off by Noah, has Dang on the wing, gives it up, and here's Dang. This is your center. <laughs> Noah has been... Knocked down shots, great sign for the Bulls that Bogan's got that one to go. Rose putting a move on Vivi. They swing it. Dang pass on a three. Hits from two-point range, and Eric Smolster calls for time, and again... Turnovers hurting Miami. That's the case in the latter stage. Steve Kerr, Reggie Miller, Craig Sager from Miami. Rose, yes. 
Don't talk about that act. Don't worry about James like he has here. James shooting over Noah. He's been off. Nice move by Rose to get inside and score. Oh, man. This kid is unbelievable. I'm telling you. Just the slightest angle or seam, and he not only finds it, but he explodes to the rim and over. On the road, you need every possession to mean something. 13 turnovers committed by Chicago. Shot clock to six. Bosch. Well, that saved that possession. Get up into him. Make him feel the pressure. Sometimes the offense is going to be frustrating. That's the way it is. But right now, guys, they're blowing by us. Both Miami does, so their offense has been poor. Chicago playing an unbelievable defensive game. So Miami just hanging in there. Oh, James got the step. First half for Chalmers, nine points on three of three field goals. Boozer on the drive, rejected by Anthony. And it's a 24 feeling. Rose getting it to Gibson, the ball slapped away. Three on one for Miami, James. Oh, oh. Fourth quarter now. Fourth quarter only. And new lineup for Chicago. I don't think we've seen Watson and Rose on the floor together as James spins his way to the hoop. Rose for three. Miller with the rebound. And LeBron James has come up big throughout the series down the stretch. Miller hits from downtown. That's his second three. I think and then take the offensive foul from Dane. Number taking the handoff from Bosch and hits again! First lead for the Heat in the second half. Mike Miller has come off the bench. Joe Keem Noah and Boozer. Here's Rose. Fires it to Dang, shot clock down to three. Dang off balance, knocks it down. Low out Dang. In that regard, one through four for sure. And even some centers. I mean, he could guard Noah if he had to. All right, Rose got the step. Here's Rose. He tried to adjust on Bosch. Loose ball picked up by Haslam, but it's broken up. Dang is on it. Finds Noah, has Boozer to his left. Boozer, ever laid home. Again. It's Noah running the point with six assists here, which leads the Bulls. 8-2 run for Chicago. Oh, Noah fell down, lost his back. Oh, a hard foul by Boozer setting Bosch to the floor, and Bosch did not like it. I think the officials are going to confer, and Bosch sold that really well. And he sold it. He, he flopped pretty hard. Now, it was a hard foul. Let's see what they're going to call. The question is, will it be called a flagrant? It is a flagrant one. Boy, is this excessive. And it looks like... Oh, boy's looking for television exposure. <laughs> Four and a half left in the fourth quarter. Miller on a quick release. Oh, he is feeling it. Ten points for Mike Miller. Bosch, Wade with the head fake met by the double team. Shot clock to four. Here is Miller again. Mike Miller pulling at four from the field. And the fourth, Bosch. The tip came up short. And dang with the outlet to Rose. Chased down by Bosch. Rose lays it home. And Bosch. Miami has a full and two 20s. Both teams are over the foul limit. Bosch off the fake on Gibson and knocks it down. Three, two, Rose for the win.
and we're headed to overtime. Seconds remaining on the shot clock. Bosch using the pick from Haslam. Chris Bosch has hit some big shots. Jordan. LeBron putting the finishing touches on this one. So the Heat taking a commanding three games to one lead over the Bulls. Putting the season in Oklahoma City, but man, this one right here, this this was an amazing, just just stunning comeback. But this again is early on, and LeBron taking it strong for the 12-6 lead. And it, it was trying early on, Ernie. You couldn't figure out who was going to make that quick run to go up six or eight. But this play right here probably ignited the Chicago Bulls, and then all of a sudden they went on their run. And they were able to sustain the lead, like you said, for 46 minutes, 45 minutes and 30 seconds, but could not finish it out with two minutes and 30 seconds to go. That play right there got the Bulls going. It got the building going. And Chicago continuing as Derrick Rose, just like a running back, tucks it and goes. Well, his ability to get to the rim was the difference early on and from pretty much the game. And then it opened up somebody's jump shot for himself, for T T uh, Kurt Thomas, and, and opened up actually for Brewer as well. But it wasn't when the, the game, 46 when the game was yeah, on the line. The, yeah. How tough is that turnaround jumper yeah. by LeBron there? Two-point game. Nothing can stop that, Ernie. And Kyle Korver. Chases down a shot door. here. Yeah. He chases down a shot. You thought all of a sudden, okay, this is the guy that they've been looking for. He's but that was one and far from few. Yeah, you were hoping he'd have a Mike Miller night. D. Wade struggling all night long with turnovers. Gives it up here. Ronnie Brewer with the finish on he the other end. He played fantastic, not just tonight, the entire series. Again, D. Wade getting, I mean, uh, D. Rose getting in there, finding guys because he, he had his feet in the paint for three and a half quarters already. He just couldn't get it down in the last two minutes and 30 seconds. Seven point lead at the half, the largest halftime margin of the series. And then Rose keeps it going. They pull up three from the wing and then over Chris Bosch. In the paint again because he becomes a post-up player when he's able to get into the lane this month it's like having a be a, a, a big center who can score in the box on the box wade couldn't find the range early couldn't figure out what to do throwing the ball away wasn't himself that and was it was his ninth turnover and it was all those are psychological i don't care if the shoulder or anything that was a psychological turnover it was an unforced error it was a poor decision to go in there for the first place here, here I, I thought this right here was the biggest play of the game to be honest with you but miami was sleepwalking through the game and this re-energized miami even though the bulls came back a little bit that was a really big play in this game. Yeah, right? I, th I thought that after a while, though, once they weathered that little storm Miami put together and they upped the lead again to double digits, I thought, but, well, okay, they overcame that. It was a, you know, you don't want to wake up the sleeping giant like they did. And then, and then you're picking up. He, he, uh, Josh not, Gibson uh, gets a tee really here. A, Reggie had, Miller was a hunt. That was not a good yeah, technical right. right there. You don't call that in that situation. He gets to the lane right here oh, and you say, oh, they're starting to move away. They're starting to find a way. It looks like the Chicago Bulls are going back to South Beach. It was a five-point game going to the fourth quarter. Then Kurt Thomas started going all Udonis Haslam on. He the, did. The two he... number 40s in the series both had big games. I didn't know that was his age or his uniform. No, number. he's 38. Yeah. Okay. And he knocks another jumper down. But and then it's looking like it's all going Chicago's way at home. Yeah, but Ernie still got his core here. This, this right here would make you think with four minutes to go that the Chicago Bulls they, will move on. Yes, yeah, to yeah. game six. But you know what? They didn't score again, basically. I mean, that was the difference in the game. You know, people can talk about all this and that. You got to score. And, and you can't give up three points. Well, yeah, that play, four, four point that play was <laughs> the four-point play. That was a big one, the four-point play. This by LeBron cuts it to five. It's still two minutes to go. You have the ball. You up five. If yeah. you run the clock out yeah. twice, okay. that's 40. Yeah. That's, that's 48 seconds. I actually thought that play right there was going to be the going to seal the game. Yeah, but a seven point lead there with under two minutes to play. Yeah, but Ernie, somebody else has to do something. You can't yes. depend on one guy but this to is, make every just, shot. I tell you what, this play. to me right here, that's what won the game for Miami right there. 
three-pointer and one yeah, four-point yeah. play for D-Wade. Yeah, that was a big one right there because now it's just a tie game. And you, At this point, you know Miami's going to win the game, to be honest with you. LeBron hits the three to tie it, and the air absolutely goes out of this place. Tied at 79, and then this, yeah, the turnover by Rose. That, that's the same thing we've been saying all series. Why they put him in that situation, try to pass the ball over two 6'10 guys, 6'9". Uh, LeBron again taking charge in the closing stages makes it 81 79 and then Rose draws the contact goes to line Remember last game he had two for the lead this two to tie he made one that was a good shot there and it just rimmed out just a little bit and they still are down a point 81 to 80 Chris Bosch to the line calmly cans a couple 83 to 80 and one more chance for Chicago. Well, this wasn't, I don't, this wasn't a chance. I don't know what the hell this was. Yeah, I mean, they, they knew Ernie, Ernie, going on. They Ernie. only have one, they only have one three-point shooter it's, actually in the game. And at that point, Ernie, and that's, that's one of the times, Ernie, Ernie you don't, I hope you don't think that's a play. I said with 16 seconds, you've got a chance. And this was their chance. And it was not a very good but, one, Charles. But what happened in that situation, they had made up their mind they were going for the three. When you got 16 seconds, you can take a quick two. If they're going to go at you all the way out on the floor like that, you have to get a quick basket. You still have 12, 13, 10, 12 seconds to go. They celebrate on the floor at the United Center.